Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC, and I'm going to show you a little trick I learned while on race fight. So now the way I've got it set up is if I use more than 70%, it's going to play. Here, I'll kind of walk where I do this again. If my fuel is greater than 70% and my arm switch is on or SB is in the middle, then this logic switch is true. L01 is true. So then a special function it becomes active and it will play the track a low battery every three seconds. That's it. That's a good way to just to tell you how much you've used already. You can also, another way to do it is you play track, play the value. It can actually read you the percent if you wanted to do it that way. I like to see how much of my battery I've used. I don't feel that voltage is a good measure as it changes based on power settings and temperature. So I like to see how many milliamps I've consumed. So usually I spend a lot of time calibrating my current sensors. And in my current race flight ships, I find that the bolt is very accurate on its current readings. Uh, it's, it's usually really close. So this is, would be very applicable to any setup where you've kind of calibrated your current sensor. You can look up how to do that. And there's a couple of videos how to do that. But the bolt comes pretty good. And I'm running a, a bolt with the race flight revolt. So what I did in, well, let's just start here. Okay, this is going to assume a couple things. One, that you've already got your ship set up. You've got a telemetry receiver, and you've got that set up. You've installed the Lua script, and we'll just kind of leave it at, right from there. So you have to have a telemetry receiver for this, like an RXSR, and or XRSR or something that's got telemetry and you've got the telemetry hooked up and telemetry goes on RX3. So once you've done that and you've got your receiver bound and everything, you know, that's I'm, I'm taking it for granted that you've already got that done. Then you come in here and do menu, hold on page, hold on page, and you're going to come down here and hit discover new sensors and then plug in your ship. Boom, all these sensors populate, then you hit stop discovery. So these are the sensors that it's reading from my receiver. Current, I don't know what the F three zeros is. Fuel, and that's in percentage, via FSAS, RSSI, and RxBat. So we're gonna be dealing with this variable called fuel, and it's in percentage based off of percent of battery used, and the default set for 1300 so I'll show you how to change that later but you do this step then lost. what I did is I hit exit on that exit menu then we'll page 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 okay going to those logical switches okay so my logic switch is a greater than X so you hit enter to go in here a greater than X so that means a is this column this is greater than this so mine goes off when a my fuel hit enter then come over here it needs you to select and you don't want the minus or plus you just want fuel is I'm gonna use 70 a is greater than X so when fuel is greater than 70% so on a 1500, uh, that's kind of what I've been using, and that brings me in right at around, you know, 1,000 milliamps. So A is greater than X. And so just, you can put this variable whatever you want. And then what I did here is I added another variable. So A is greater than X, so if you is greater than 70%, and... I added a switch, so just hit enter and a switch. And what I did was, and the switch is in this middle position, and that's my arm switch. So this logic switch, to be active, all of this has to be true. So the fuel consumed has to be greater than 70%, and I have to have my ship armed. If you don't do it that way, it's gonna go off and on. If you just ended flying and it's greater than 70%, that kind of stays in your radio and then it's just gonna keep beeping until you put it in. So what we did first, we made this logic switch. 
and once this triggers then we get a next the next part so hit exit we're gonna hit page now come down here special function you probably won't have this first one that's uh, one of my other videos that I have it's just resetting my flight timer so go down to your first open one hit enter and you're gonna look for it you're gonna scroll up until it says L01 because that's our logic switch one and then what, what do you want it to do when this is logic switch is true what do you want it to do you want to play a sound this is a beep do you want it to set the fail safe the volume you know so what I want it to do is play a specific track then you come over here and this is I think stock volumes I I don't have my other uh, voice pack on here that's that's what I'm gonna do I probably right after I do this uh, so low battery is what I want oops low bat and then one time 11 times every couple seconds is the delay here so I'm gonna put it three seconds that way I'm not annoying everybody if I'm in a race and that's it so I hope you like this little trick and tip and I'll be having more of these for race flight as I get to know it and get to experiment some more with it if you need a race flight board check us out at twodogrc.com so this percentage is based on the battery size so if you want to change that battery size you plug in your flight controller come into console type in dump and that's going to show you all the variables so then you come down here and you're looking for set bat size Here it is set bat size equals and by default it's 1300 so if you wanted to just adjust your percentage based off 1300 and you'll be good to go I change it to 1500 so to change it you just select it copy it come down here paste it and you know stock is going to be 1300 so change that to 1500 hit the return key or enter key and then it right here it says that you did this now type in the word save and then it's going to restart complete now the percentage that you're getting is based off of 1500